Hello! It's the Mini Awesome Cast. I'm Mike Sorg, and I'm very excited. <laughs> I got some cool tools for you. Think up is the word of the day. Compound word of the day? Fake word of the day? I don't know. But uh, it's back in my life, and I'm so excited about it. But first, please check out our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com, as well as AwesomeCast.net. Or if you're using, you're looking for some video or, or social networking needs, please check out SorgatronMedia.com and find out how we could help you with any of those things that you may have a problem with. So think up. Again, This is I'm back, baby. I, I, I signed on to this thing. Uh, about a year ago, uh, I heard about it, had been hearing about it, installed an early version of it on my own server a while ago, and uh, what is it? What is it? First, it's put together by the great Gina Trapani. Uh, you may know her. She's the one that started Lifehacker and one of my favorite hosts over on This Week in Google. I haven't listened to this week's episode. I gotta get on that. But, so you 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 take, you, you plug into the service. There's a 14-day trial, I think, right now. So you can go just go try it out. Please, just go try it out. Uh, uh, please try it out, and and please at them that you heard about it at AwesomeCast, by the way. I, I just want the brownie points with Gina Trapani. Uh, but anyways, so you, you plug your stuff in there, and you get a nice readout. Now, you go to stuff. I've tried some all. I've tried this other stuff. I get my reports from Hootsuite, and it's numbers and graphs, and I got three clicks, and they're like, what the heck does that mean, you know? I was like, it feels like low numbers, and it, but I know I know it means more than what they're showing me. And even I, I kind of joked that the Twitter analytics, if you go to analytics.twitter.com, sign in with your account, you get a really interesting readout. And I noticed a lot of it kind of looks like think up, and I actually kind of joked to them on Twitter. I was like, hey, it looks like somebody's uh, stealing your ideas. And they're like, yeah, we noticed. <laughs> but what what do they do? So I, I'm going to show you if you're on video or if, actually if you're not, you, go to sorgatron.thinkup.com. Uh, right now I have a couple of the accounts open and I think you can see uh, actually about all of them and I'll open it up. I have sorgatron.com in it or sorgatron in it, insert coin to begin, uh, mayhem show, awesome cast and podcast Pittsburgh is actually all plugged into this. So you can see the stats, not the stats, but you know what I mean. You'll see what I mean. But you get stuff that's like a real hey, you know, this is actually the effect of what you're doing. So when I look in here, and I'll pull up the video for you guys here on the video side. So I go in, and the first thing on here is, uh, at Sorgatron boosted Awesome Cats tweets to uh, uh, 1,418 more people. So think about that. So I have, I don't know what, 15,000 people, actually probably a little more than that, on, on my own Twitter account. Would they say 1,000, 1,500? 1,700, something like that. Uh, so, so... And then I go retweet. We have somebody say, uh, we have, we have Ashley is actually a new Twitter user. Last I knew she has like maybe 50 people, right? So if I retweet her tweet, now that has just exploded her audience. Uh, uh, you know, 1,500 more people have seen who Ashley is and maybe they'll go follow her and, and, and it helps that exposure. That's why it's always nice to retweet other people because even if you got 1,500 and they got 1,500, it's not the same 1,500. And this will go in and say, well, hey, there were 1,500 you know, of, of your equal 1,500 member size, there were 900 more people over here that this person didn't have that now get to see that tweet. It's adding context. Um, you get to see new followers. Now, I'm all jacked up because I just signed back up and it deleted everything from before. So everything is like, oh, you got all these new followers. You got all this. You got everything else. And, and it's kind of based on like, well, you're just looking at my info for the first time. So it tells me all these people who who uh, uh, who just followed me. It'll tell me like who are some interesting new followers. And you're like for insert coin to begin. It's telling me the master of makeout, whoever that is. Actually, isn't that? Mike, Mad Mike or something? I, I don't know. Uh, Mr. Destructoid, PodCamp Pittsburgh. PodCamp Pittsburgh followed that ages ago, so that doesn't really matter for too much. Um, and you go down and uh, stuff like... Uh, this, this is the, this kind of perspective stuff. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I only got... I only have 300 followers on this one account. What am I going to do with this thing? Like, we don't have many on Insert Coin to begin, and we're, we're still kind of finding the traction with that. But it does say you have 179 followers, but only 115 people attended the Rolling Stones' first live performance. Kind of a good perspective. I really like I really like this. It was telling me um, um, in here, let's see, this is different than what the email did, but it was telling me in here how the Wrestling Mayhem show could fill, actually overfill the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City, which is fun since it's such a place for wrestling these days and such a historic place. It was kind of a cool kind of direction. And that's something that I look at when I'm like, oh, I only got I only got like 500 people listening to this podcast. And I'm like, I have 500 people listening to this podcast or whatever the case may be. Like, 
think when I was a rapper. Yes, I was a rapper, guys, for didn't know. Think if you had 500 people in front of you listening to what you were singing on stage. Now you have 500 people listening to you talk about professional wrestling or tech or whatever it is. Or now you have 1,500 people listening to you, or at least following you to a point that they're listening to you. You have 15, 1,500 people that could be laughing at that thing you just said. Or that picture of your cat. Or hopefully something more important if that's your, your guide. Um, Again, it's that perspective. Um, someone tweeted nine times with somebody with nine times more followers uh, tweeted insert coin to begin. You're going to get this a lot. Chachi has sixteen hundred, right? And uh, it, it shows you how many times or how many more followers you had. That you every time I would tweet Bobby, it's going to say like two times more followers. You know, uh, you you helped expose him to two times more followers. And I think that's it's really good. It's really important. And, uh, and, and I think you guys should try it out if you're really serious about your Twitter usage. And this does also apply to Facebook. It's $5 a month, uh, $50 a year for one account from Facebook and Twitter. You connect both of them. So I would connect my personal ones or individual. For $10 a month, it looks like it's unlimited accounts. So I'm going to plug in Mayhem. I'm going to plug in AwesomeCast. I'm going to plug in my clients. I'm going to plug in this other stuff. And again, just a ready-made report. That makes sense. And it's a different perspective, maybe to go along with those facts, figures, and numbers and pie charts that you're getting from uh, the hoot suites and the sum alls out there because you're some sort of social media master degree person. Hi, Katie, uh, that understands all that stuff. And I just know how to talk to people. So there you go. Which is funny since we talked about being introverts on basic socioeconomics this morning as well. Let us know what you think. Check out ThinkUp. And uh, um, um, let me know what you think of at AwesomeCast on the Twitter, at Sorgatron there. Please, I'm going to talk a little bit more about ThinkUp in my creator's newsletter. If you haven't subscribed, and maybe it's out by the time you heard this, maybe not. But you can subscribe to that at Sorgatron.com. And actually on most of the sites, I think I have a, a link up for that as well. Uh, it pops up at the top over that sorgatronmedia.com and uh, that and, and more in my favorite podcast from the week including my favorites from this and other little videos and, and stuff coming up, coming up in social media. I got two slots left last I knew at the Carnegie Library for Tuesday morning talking about Pinterest and, and Snapchat and Instagram. I think that's the three we're talking about whatever it is and a video the next week we got another class there so I'm really excited to go get out there again talking with people, getting one-on-one -on -one with or one-on-24, whatever the case may be. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Please subscribe. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.